for the counter. If you have a value, you push on C, then you reset the value. If you want the desired link, you put on F, the P1 will be lighting, and then you put the desired link 250, 300, 250, F, and that's it. If you want to see the uh, value, you push again on F, then you see the value. Again on F, XP is counting. Don't mix with the bottoms because otherwise you reorganize the, the counter. This bottom is to, start, to lift up the roll if you want to feed the veneer at the first time. If you start, you need to do it that. To expand the roll, you have a switch on this. This will put, it will clamp the roll. You must put the, the roll always a little bit to the left side of the guideline. You find that in the manual. How do you do adjust everything, the lineup, you find in the manual. Okay, that's that. Yeah? This button is to regulate the height of the, of the south. I will explain you that later, but this is to regulate the height. To stick the plastic on it, double side tape, close to it, and you push it very well and it will hold. Next. This bottom is for your taha arm up and down. Sometimes you need to, to lift it by hand and put it down by hand. You will have an extra bottom because you have a pneumatic expander roll and you need to clamp your veneer with that bottom. Assemble the saw. The first saw. The first saw. This distance ring you leave always the same, and then you put the desired width. Put the saw on it. Must be sure that everything is clean because otherwise. Your saws are not straight assembled. There are two marking points on the roll. You clamp it here. And like this, tight, not not very, just good tight. That's it. You release the two screws. Take it off. You will see if, if the power is off, there is a pin which coming in to prevent to open it. So you take the tension on, you open the whole system, you look at the marks for the screw, put the bearing on the place, From time to time you do a little bit oil or grease on it because also this one if you leave it during three weeks take it off because you will have a passing thrust and it's very difficult to remove.
close it, Claire. You're feeding the bees. Against the guide, you close it, you lift it a little bit up, and after a few seconds the timer will go, the so will begin to run slightly down, and then you pull. Activate the arm, you leave it down like this, and then you adjust the spacers. Stop. Strips you adjust that you have half a millimeter gap between your veneer, that it will be free. If you have sticked everyone after 3 RPM, that must always around in the middle, not Till one side here or the other side there, it must be able to move. Then the shaft will choose the center of the roll. This is very important because if, if it goes like this, it's possible that you pull one side and then you have not a, a clean edge. Okay, stop. It's always important that you take the right sequence. You lift that up, you push start, don't forget to activate the roll, that uh, the guide rolls are down. You lift it up, you push start, and then you wait till the saws are turning. And then you leave it down, because otherwise you damage uh, the plastic underneath. If the pl plastic is wear out, you have no clean edge. You do it with the one eye, uh, with the left arm, you push the start, and in the meantime, you keep that veneer by your hand because otherwise it will go to the left side and it's dangerous for, for the splinter. And then you do it by, by hand. Still the roll. The saws are turning against the direction of the veneer. Very important is the height of the, of the teeth. The veneer must be in the, not lower than the, how must I say, than the teeth. Not too high, but around this, two, three millimeters lower. The teat is five millimeters, so don't lower it as, a, as five millimeters. This black plastic you need only to remove after uh, a few months. This one, every width that you will change, or if you close, go too close to the teeth, then you need to change that plastic. If you go in, in the middle, it will, it will keep it, but if you go like this, this will break. This is very important that that stays clean. This height is adjust for in your machine for a diameter from 200 mm. It's possible that you must drill the hole from that cylinder a little bit lower. It must before the center, always before the center and be sure that that is in line with your chef. If you have bad edges, first you must check after the saws, and then you must check after the, the disc from the, from the winding systems. So the first time you push start, you pull the veneer till here, you can stop it here, this is the same stop as there, If you plan, have planned the veneer, if everything is adjust, then you push on this side and the winder will start to work. Be sure that this one is on zero. You can, at the beginning of the roll, you can go till the maximum. And you must see if, if the, the veneer has a good structure or whatever. Not too low, because then you uh, have burned edges. 
and there is no diameter compensation. So after the roll, you must lower the, the speed. You don't need to go because otherwise it goes too fast. It's possible that you go on full speed to 200 meters, but if you have a breakdown, you, you destroy uh, your whole master roll. That's not uh, the meaning of it. Below you have two slows for the exhaust of the dust. It's not only for the dust, but also to cool your yourselves. Action from the south must be this way, anti-clockwise.